Hello, all golfers, and welcome to Golf in the Cosmos, episode number 43. I'm Kevin Robofsky, and here we talk all things Mac O'Grady and Morad. So today is part three of a video series, uh, Mac O'Grady, La Costa Country Club, January 1987, practice rounds for the Tournament of Champions. And this round, he's playing with uh, Curtis Strange and Dan Forsman. Some interesting comparison between Mac and Curtis. Um, Curtis definitely good swing, very athletic. Goes on to win the 1988 and 1989 U.S. Opens. Um, at this time, he's working with Jimmy Ballard, so he's got some lateral movement. Definitely much more crossing the line. And you can see Mac with a more efficient swing, a lot tighter, a lot quicker, um, out driving Curtis uh, quite a bit, pretty much every hole. So it's interesting to watch. Um, definitely you're going to see Mac uh, at this time looking very streamlined, alignments look excellent, um, very efficient, original Morad uh, model swing. And I think this is definitely the, the model that I um, am, am drawn to. And, uh, and I want to make it very clear that this methodology is very simple. So today's title of the video, Morad Made Easy. I wanted people to realize the original Morad methodology and model was very easy. It was supposed to be easy on the brain to repeat and, uh, and basically, the concepts are very general and very simple. Basically is, you know, we're swinging in a perfect circle. So there's minimal uh, postural changes. So Mac would say we're gonna stay in our tilts, right? So basically, we're gonna stay bent over and then sidewards, um, back down and through. So a very centered swing, we're not disturbing our center of gravity swinging around a perfect orbit, um, maintaining the tilt, arms connected to the body. And uh, the wrists cock 90 degrees and re-cock 90 degrees. And that's pretty much it. And I think the simplest way to visualize it is to create a horizontal swing, right? So. This is not a baseball swing, so I'm not, I'm not like this, right? The shaft is going to be horizontal, but the shaft is going to point at my, at my belt line. So I'm not going like this, uncocked wrist. My wrists are low, right? So preset. The arms, the upper arms are against my pectoral muscles. That's your connection, your pressure points, right? The shaft is pointing at my belt line. Right, so this is horizontal, so my knees are relatively straight, my back's relatively straight. When I go into golf posture, I bend over and my knees flex. It's basically taking this alignment and straightening up to create just a very simple model, right? Now, from P1 to P2, my shaft, my club head pretty much stays on that shaft plane, right? Which is basically my belt line. And when it hits to my, uh, to my waist, my belt line, P2, then there's a shift. So my left arm will start to rotate and it will raise up to my shoulder line. Right? Shaft is still at that horizontal uh, plane. Right? And then I unwind, wrist stay cocked until the last moment, boom, come right around. So this is just basically a perfect circle, right? It doesn't stay on my belt line. It goes from belt line to shoulder line, right? So it's just a rotation, boom, right around. Rotation, boom, right? So from this angle, rotation, wrist cock, come down, rotate around, boom, wrist recock, right? The weight shift is following the rotation of the body. I'm not throwing my hips, there would be no need to stick my tailbone out, there'd be no need to flatten the shaft. If you're swinging in a perfect circle, why do you need to do those things? 
right? So this is some of the modern, I think, teaching that is literally throwing people in crazy loops and, you know, going into um, these rabbit holes and, uh, in, and making it overly complex. So rotation in a perfect circle, right? Follow the model. Right? I'm not, when I recock my wrist, I'm not rolling my wrist into a closed position. I recock my wrist this way, right? So this way. It's, pre it's pretty much keeping the club face square, right? Even though the wrists are recocking. Rotation. I'll show you a video at the very end of this segment of Tiger Woods doing the same thing. Has a ball teed up on a shaft. And just basically, same circular rotation. Hard to argue if Tiger's doing it, right? So this is something that um, is very intuitive um, for the player. Rotation, connection, release, centeredness, right? These are the concepts, very simple. So Morad isn't that complicated. Now, later Morad is a lot of different... Um, variables to it, right? But we're talking about original Morad general principles, right? If you can visualize that horizontal plane and that circular swing, then you can do this Morad methodology for sure. And of course, what you're going to see in this video is Mac demonstrating it very efficiently, right? And I think, you know, just watching him swing again is inspiration for, you know, maybe, um, a new generation of golfers to familiarize your, yourself with this swinging system and also of course um, you know to see it in action and to you know help promote you know my small contribution is to promote this methodology because I think it helps people and really that's my you know my motivation to do it so I know I do get a lot of emails a lot of comments a lot of questions regarding regarding Morad methodology and that's why I'm making these videos and and please refer to the videos for to answer your questions because uh, the information is in 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 these videos and in this series so please enjoy uh, this is great footage rare footage and we're very blessed to have it enjoy the PGA championship and the also Tiger Woods coverage that I am um, putting on the very end. Aloha.